this is going to be a quick little video about the pedal pulses. Now, when we assess our patients, we usually look at two pulse sites on the foot. One is going to be the dorsalis pedis, which is on the top of the foot, and then the posterior tibialis, which is, which is on the inside towards the back of the foot. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my nursing channel. My name is Nurse Master Charlie, and on my channel, I talk about all things nursing. So if you wanna know more about nursing related topics, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and then also hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I make new videos. So let's get right to the video. So what is a pulse? By definition, a pulse is the regular expansion or dilation of an artery caused by the ejection of blood into the arterial system by the contractions of the heart. And your pulse is the rate at which your heart beats. Now to assess a pulse, you will need your fingertips to feel or palpate the pulse. You will need a watch to time the pulse. So you're gonna be counting the beats per minute in a pulse rate. So when you assess a patient, you wanna assess whatever system you're assessing systematically. So for pulses, we're gonna assess from head to toe or head to foot. When we assess a pulse, we wanna assess bilaterally for symmetry. The only ones we will not assess bilaterally or at the same time will be our carotid pulses and the apical pulse because there's only one site we're gonna to listen to. Okay, when we assess a pulse, we wanna assess for a couple of things. We wanna assess for the rhythm and the rate. Well, pulses can be described as regular, irregular, regularly irregular, or irregularly irregular. And normally you wanna count for one minute. You can count for 30 seconds and multiply it by two. However, there are some instances when you do wanna check it for one minute when you're gonna give a cardiac medication. And if you're not familiar with the patient, also maybe check it for 60 seconds. Now you wanna assess the strength of a pulse. Now pulses can be described as zero, indicating no palpable pulse, one plus indicating a faint pulse, two plus suggesting a slightly more diminished pulse than normal, three plus, it's a normal pulse, and four plus indicating a bounding pulse. So before you see your patient, make sure that you perform hand hygiene. And since you are going to be touching your patient in different areas, you want to let them know what you're going to be doing and then ask them if that's okay. So the posterior tibialis, the tibia is the bone on the inside of the leg and the bottom part of the tibia forms the medial malleolus. That is the ankle bone on the inside of the foot. And then we have our Achilles tendon and the posterior tibialis pulse or the artery can be found right in between the medial malleolus and the Achilles tendon. To assess our posterior tibialis pulse, we will need to find our medial malleolus, that's the ankle bone on the inside of the foot, and the Achilles tendon. The posterior tibialis is going to be approximately right in between those two landmarks. To assess the dorsalis pedis pulse, you will need to find a landmark, the extensor of hallucis longus also known as the EHL. This is a tendon that allows you to pull your toe up and it travels from the toe all the way on top of the foot to the base of the ankle. And like I said, it allows you to pull the toe up when you need to move your toe. Now, immediately laterally to the EHL, you will find your dorsalis pedis pulse. If we could see under the skin and see the arteries, we could see where the artery actually is and where we are palpating. Don't forget to watch my other videos that show other pulse points. So I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and then click on the notification bell so you can be made aware when I release new videos. So and until the next video, God bless, thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>